Twisters touch down in the Midwest, President Bush goes on a quest for peace, and the new TV that speaks Google. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Renee for GetTheDaily.com and I'm here with your national headlines. Freak tornadoes are sweeping through the Midwest, traditionally not an area that receives tornadoes, especially not in January. Over 50 homes were demolished, railroad cars were knocked off their tracks, and businesses are shut down. More than a dozen twisters touched down in Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. And according to the National Weather Service, this is only the second time since 1844 that tornadoes have been reported in January. The twisters were a result of usually not this high of temperatures, 60 to 70 degrees over in the Midwest right now. These towns are supposed to be covered in snow and they're getting tornadoes. Luckily, the casualties, given the extensive damage, are low. Dozens of people suffered injuries and three lost their lives. The bad news is that, you know, you're probably thinking it couldn't get any worse, but that weather is expected to continue through today. And, you know, I heard reports just before I came on air that Twisters have actually already touched down in Arkansas. So hopefully those folks are a little more prepared. President Bush is heading to the war-ravaged Middle East for peace talks. And on the way, he met up with Turkish President Abdullah Gul. President Bush called Turkey, which is an Islamic nation, a constructive bridge between the West and the Muslim world, also saying they set a fantastic example for other Muslim nations so that democracy and Islam can coexist. The meeting between the two presidents is seen as a sign of improved relations between the two after Turkey refused to help the U.S. at the beginning of the Iraqi war. President Bush will continue on his trip to the West Bank and Palestine, then to Kuwait, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and ending up in Saudi Arabia. His goal? To encourage Arab-Israeli reconciliation. Good luck with that one, President Bush. It's the wave of the future, everyone. Get ready to ride it with Panasonic and Google. The web giant has teamed up with the makers of Panasonic TVs to create a television that not only high definition, but allows viewers to browse online directly from their TV. Plus, you can play internet content such as YouTube videos, and you can watch photo, you know, photo slideshows from Picasso Web Albums, which is Google's free online photo sharing service. Right from the comfort of your living room on that big 50-inch plasma you just got for Christmas. No more huddling around your little laptop with your friends to watch YouTube. Just think of what this is going to do to the online porn industry. Amazing! Look for those new television models to debut sometime in late spring. That's it for the national headlines. I'm Andrea Renee, and thanks for getting your news at GetTheDaily.com.